Hello and welcome to this video about WordPress permissions. If you have a WordPress site where you want to customize the permissions for your users, I highly recommend the Capability Manager Enhanced plugin. All this does is sit on top of the default WordPress permissions and allows you to customize them with a, either a green check mark or a red X. Let me show you how it works. After you install the Capability Manager Enhanced plugin, and you'll be in good company because over 70,000 other website owners have installed it too. Go to Users and Capabilities in your WordPress admin menu. You'll see all the permissions in front of you and the Capability Manager Enhanced plugin also picks up permissions from other plugins as well. In this case, we have WooCommerce installed so you'll see lots of WooCommerce information in here too. If you install BuddyPress or BBPress or any other popular plugin, you'll see permissions for those plugins here too. The way to get started is to go to the right-hand side and select the user role that you want to edit. You'll notice there is at least one WooCommerce role in here as well, but I'm gonna take the example of authors. I want to slightly customize the permissions that are given to authors on my site. If I click author and click load, you'll notice that some of these boxes are now checked. These are showing what authors are allowed to do. You can compare that quickly to what administrators are allowed to do, which is just about everything. Authors in comparison really don't have much in the way of permissions. For example, at the top of the screen, we can see posts and authors are not allowed to edit the posts of other users or delete them. They are allowed to edit content they have published. They're allowed to publish content, but they really are pretty restricted. They can't edit pages and they can't edit products either. In this example, I'm going to give them exactly the same permissions that they have for posts, but we'll give it to them for pages and for products as well. So being authors, they can go anywhere on the site. They can add posts, pages, or WooCommerce products. Wherever they go, they're going to get exactly the same set of permissions. I've checked those boxes and click on Save Changes. And now I've updated the author role. So the authors now can go anywhere and update almost any content on the site, so long it is, as it is their content. Let's take a look at another role here. We have editors, and they'll make an interesting comparison to authors. You'll notice that an editor has those editing permissions that the authors were missing. And they're also allowed to manage and create categories. In this example, I'm going to give them the ability to manage and create tags as well. Click Save, and those changes are done. So the Capability Manager Enhanced plugin gives you quick and easy access to just about any permission on your WordPress site. And if you install extra plugins, then you'll get access to control those permissions as well. If you take a look over this list of permissions, you're going to see a lot of WooCommerce permissions in here as well. And at the top, we have the WordPress core capabilities. These are the editor users, remember? We can browse over this and see if there are any permissions we want to give to the editors. Do we want to allow them to activate plugins, to add or delete users? to edit themes, to install themes. If we do, then we can check the boxes and give them those permissions. It can get a little more complex if you have multiple roles and you're putting users in more than one role. So if you want to explicitly deny a permission to a group, for example, 
If you don't want editors to access products in any way at all, you can click on the red X and you'll see that editors are completely denied any permissions to do with editing or publishing WooCommerce products. And the same thing happens with WordPress core capabilities down here. Click on the red X and you can absolutely deny these permissions. So if you do happen to have a user with more than one role, if they're an editor, then they will explicitly and 100% be denied access to this particular permission. So if you install a WordPress site and you're not quite happy with the half dozen default WordPress roles, then give Capability Manager Enhanced a try. 70,000 other users are happy with it, and I think you will be too.